Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. China's chip market is constantly changing, and China has embarked on a self-sufficient development path under U.S. chip restrictions. Not only has it set a goal of 70% chip self-sufficiency and put more chips in domestic production, but Shanghai Microelectronics is also increasing the research and development of lithography machines, and Chinese companies have therefore moved into the first domestic lithography machine. Some foreign media said, Bill Gates is right. China is the world's largest chip market, and it needs to spend a lot of imports in the field of integrated circuits every year especially importing high-end chips to meet the needs of a series of domestic consumer electronics products such as smartphones, computers, and tablets. China currently does not have the mass production capacity for 7 nanometers and below high-end chips, and most of the processes are concentrated in mature processes such as 14 nanometers and 28 nanometers. And it happens that the mature chip market has a very large demand. With the popularization of artificial intelligence, cloud computing, big data, and other applications, the performance and power consumption requirements of chips are getting higher and higher. Therefore, the mature chip market needs to continuously introduce new chip products to meet market demand. Starting from mature chips, Chinese chip manufacturer SMIC has vigorously deployed 12-inch wafer production capacity and greatly increased 28 nanometers chip shipments. Now that there are self-produced chips in the country, the dependence on imported chips is not so great. In the first quarter of this year, China imported 108.2 billion integrated circuits, a year-on-year -year decrease of 22.9%, equivalent to a decrease of 32.1 billion chip imports compared with last year. A full 32.1 billion chip orders have been cancelled, making it even more difficult for overseas chip giants to make a lot of money. There are more signs that the self-sufficiency of China's chip industry is constantly improving. Also in the first quarter of this year, a Chinese company moved in the first domestically produced lithography machine and the advanced packaging lithography machine from Shanghai Microelectronics was moved in by Chinese company Kanshan Tongxingde for production line projects. Shanghai Microelectronics is the only company in China that has mastered the complete equipment of lithography machines. In the field of front-end lithography machines, the mass-produced lithography machine process of Shanghai Microelectronics is 90 nanometers. In the field of back-end lithography machines, Shanghai Microelectronics has relatively good strength and can produce 2.5D, 3D advanced packaging lithography machines. Perhaps many people don't know that lithography machines are also divided into front and back. Front-end lithography and back-end lithography are two different steps in semiconductor chip manufacturing. The front-end lithography machine is mainly used to make photolithography masks during the chip manufacturing process, that is, to project the designed chip pattern onto the silicon wafer to form a pattern. The subsequent lithography machine is used to etch the pattern on the silicon wafer to form the circuit components of the chip. Front-end lithography machines generally require higher resolution and precision, while back-end lithography machines require higher processing speeds and stronger etching capabilities. Relatively speaking, 
the manufacturing of the front-end lithography machine is more difficult. It requires a high-precision optical system, a sophisticated mechanical system, and a high-stability control system. It needs to master knowledge in multiple disciplines, such as physics, optics, mechanics weight. ASML in the Netherlands can achieve high-end processes of 5 nanometers and below in the field of front-end lithography machines, and the most advanced EUV lithography machines are priceless. The mass production process of domestic lithography machines in the front-end field is 90 nanometers, and there is still a lot of room for improvement in the future. The domestic lithography machines imported by Chinese companies belong to the latter, mainly to meet the needs of chip packaging. Nevertheless, doing a good job in advanced packaging is of great significance to domestic chips. Because advanced packaging technology can improve chip performance, power consumption and reliability, but also reduce chip size and cost. The use of advanced packaging technology can enhance the market competitiveness of chips, attract more customers and partners, and promote the development of the domestic chip industry. Therefore, doing a good job in advanced packaging is of great significance to the development of domestic chips. The United States frequently restricts Chinese chips which will only speed up China's self-sufficiency. China's cancellation of 32.1 billion chip imports and the move of Chinese companies to the first domestic lithography machine are the best proof. Some foreign media said, Bill Gates is right. Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, has long said that the United States will never be able to prevent China from having powerful chips. Restrictions will only make China self-sufficient, and the United States will lose many high-paying jobs. The fact is that, as Bill Gates said, China's chips are showing signs of self-sufficiency. The US technology industry, has laid off 130,000 people from January to May this year, and the number of layoffs in the United States has exceeded 410,000. If the US does not stop restrictive measures, it will only affect the profits and profits of US companies. By then, the number of layoffs will continue to rise, and it will be too late for the US to regret it. American companies need to sell chips to the Chinese market, and China is currently producing more and more chips domestically. Even though high-end chips still need to be imported, one day China will make breakthroughs in high-end chip manufacturing technology, and many problems will be easily solved. Bill Gates saw the reality clearly and persuaded the United States to turn around. If the United States does not listen, it will only be himself who bears the price. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.